In this week's Blast of Wildlife news, Batman himself speaks out for Bat Week, a turtle-eating tortoise, and why taking bear selfies is a bad idea. These stories and more in this episode of Two Minute Roundup. We're starting off at sea with some harrowing news from NOAA. More large sharks were killed by recreational anglers than commercial fishermen in the U.S. last year. This shows just how important it is to get anglers on board with shark conservation. Over to Africa, where U.S. Fish and Wildlife warns that African lions may face extinction by 2050. The agency has officially proposed the big cats receive much-needed protection under the Endangered Species Act. This news comes hand-in-hand hand with the birth of three African lion cubs at Seattle's Woodland Park Zoo. The litter is a first for mom and dad, adding new genes to the conservation breeding program. Whatever's on the program for your Halloween weekend, make sure it's orangutan safe. The Cheyenne Mountain Zoo has created a handy app called the Palm Oil Shopping Guide that makes it easy to see which products are orangutan friendly and which aren't. Speaking of munchies, we're moving on to this week's weirdest. Like a reptilian Russian doll, a sulcata tortoise in Florida landed up at a local animal hospital after swallowing a miniature metallic version of itself, a turtle-shaped charm pendant. From turtles to bats and some famous faces, it's Bat Week, and the cast and crew of the upcoming film Batman vs. Superman are standing up for bat conservation. Catch the full video and find out how you can help on earthtouchnews.com. Staying in the skies, scientists from Queen Mary University of London are working on developing a Shazam-like app that will recognize and ID bird calls. It's still in the works, but they hope to release it next spring. We all love our smartphones, but officials at U.S. Forest Service posted a warning on their website last week after a boom in bear selfies started showing up on social media. Bears are wild, unpredictable animals. That bear selfie could be your last selfie. That's it for this week, but don't forget we'd love to hear your favorite wildlife stories, so get in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time!